day, YouTube. It's time to have a little bit of a comparison look at Kubuntu on the left and Zorin OS on the right. So, full disclaimer, this is a little bit of an apples to oranges video because uh, although they are both Linux desktop environments to compare, uh, they are actually running on different uh, front ends, front desktop environments. Yeah, so the, the actual, uh, let's see, so we've got the Plasma desktop environment here, as you can see, so a little bit different to... Well, with Zorin, you may actually be mistaken for, for thinking that it is KDE. It looks quite similar in a way, doesn't it? But it is actually running on the GNOME desktop environment, which is not my favorite. Uh, <laughs> gotta say, technically, I do use it every day with Ubuntu, but Ubuntu has a, kind of its own optimized or, or, or strategized version of, of the way that they've uh, set it up and designed it. But hey, you know, is what it is. Now, Kubuntu. Uh, this is uh, not a long-term service release. It's a point, point release, so a new version. Latest and greatest comes out every six months. Kubuntu 21.10. On the right, uh, also a point release. Zorin OS uh, currently version 16. And I did another video with this one before. Uh, you will find it's actually running on the, the long-term service release of Ubuntu. Which means you're going to get a slightly older kernel. Which, you know... That's for another video, but hey, you know what? You can change it if you really want to. Uh, but just bear that in mind because, you know, if you're running on the latest AMD CPU or, or you know, Intel that you just got from the shop down the road, you want to just bear that in mind with the kernels available because you can run into certain issues for sure. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at, say, the file managers. Uh, see how these are. Now, the GNOME one's quite nice, but simple in comparison. I don't know. Dolphin, again. Hey, you know what? I'm starting to say this a lot now. As long as you can right-click and open up that terminal, I am happy as Larry, as they like to say down under. Let me know if they, they say that overseas. Um, anywhere else apart from Australia. I think it is Australian. Now, <laughs> let's get out of this and get out of that. And just last but not least, let's have a look at the RAM usage. See what's, see what's going down, yeah? So the CPU, eh. Don't worry about that, that's all idling. The RAM, so straight on boot up. So we're running about 750, 780 megabytes of RAM on boot up. There's nothing loaded in the background, just to make this as fair as possible. Uh, Zorin OS, uh, on the other hand, uh, I don't really like any operating system on Linux going hitting the 1000 megabyte mark. It's not great, but it is what it is. It, it's important for you guys to see this, just in case you're looking to run an old netbook, uh, or, <clears throat> excuse me, a notebook or, or laptop. Uh, because probably not going to want to go to Zorin OS, to be honest. But hey, just keeping this a little bit short and sweet, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.